Manx Radio's Hidden Heroes with ShopRite. Okay, so Howard has just announced on there uh, that we are in position and ready to surprise this month's Hidden Hero. He's now playing the nomination out over the air. It is a very special woman, especially with it being Christmas, because this person is a foster carer. And so this is going to be quite the emotional one, I think. Uh, nominated by her daughter, who is also through here, having a copy with her now. I'm just listening to Beth playing out the nomination. How it's going to come to us in just a second. Thanks to Harry for doing the video for us today. Multitasking. We've got Amanda from ShopRite with us with a £100 ShopRite voucher. Nearly ready, nearly ready. Not only is she a foster care, okay, she's a mum, but she's also a grandparent for grandchildren. It's a special one. Despite her job, she still puts every single one of us Got before herself. If I turn into just half of the lady she is, I would be immensely proud. Keep doing what you do, mum, because we couldn't be more proud of you even if we tried. Wow. How good is that? And I think Christy is in position. We'll join her now. Christy. I am, I am in position. We're not actually very far from Douglas Head. We're actually down in the sea terminal. And this very special person is around the corner thinking she's just having a coffee. She thinks she's just having a coffee with the daughter. I think this happens quite regularly. And so that's how her daughter has been able to get her down here. It is Chrissy that has nominated her. That is her daughter. We're here with Amanda from ShopRite, who is going to be presenting the £100 voucher. OK, we're going in, H. We're going in. We're going around Go the it. corner. Go for it. Yeah. And no, they do not know we are coming. So this should be quite interesting. Oh, I can see somebody in a pink sweatshirt with Manx Telecom on, which I believe means that might be our nominator. Ladies, I'm very sorry to interrupt you. We have something special to tell you. Are you Julie King? Julie King, you are this month's Manx Radio hidden hero. <laughs> she's not, she's, she's trying to hide her face. Julie, this lady in front of you, your daughter, Chrissy, nominated you. What do you think about that? I'm going to kill her later. <laughs> Chrissy, we heard a little bit of your nomination just played out on air there. Just tell us why you nominated your mum. Uh, just for the job, she, just for the job that she does. Um, you know, she's a foster carer, not, not a standard Monday to Friday job, nine to five, so it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So brought three children on her own and still bringing up more children. Oh, it's amazing. Now, Julie, how long have you been a foster carer for? About seven years now. Wow. Why did you want to do it in the first place? I don't know. I just always wanted to do it. And uh, I thought I would just try. It was actually one of my old managers from the children's centre that encouraged me to keep going and do it. So, so have you got any idea how many children you've fostered over well, the years? I've had two that have been with me permanently, and then I do a lot of respites, so I wouldn't know. Don't count them. <laughs> And what is it that you particularly get out of being a foster carer? Um, sleepless nights. <laughs> no, I just enjoy it. I, I just enjoy it. And, you know, when you see them making, meeting their milestones, no matter what age, it's nice to, to see them making it there. So. so is it something you'd recommend to other people to consider? Oh, God, yeah, everybody. If you've got a spare bedroom, go and ring up family placement services and inquire about it because it it's a wonderful thing. If you've got a sense of humour, you're fine. <laughs> And this must be a pretty special time of year for you as well. Yes, yes, and also we all the family get together as well. So yeah, it is good. It is good. The support of the family is the most important thing as well. You know, they've got to be behind you with it. Yeah. So. And well, congratulations, and hopefully, what will be very helpful to you is we have Amanda here from Shoprite because you've also oh. won a one hundred pound Shoprite voucher. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you very much. Well done. So Amanda's well, just handed over the voucher and Chrissy's looking very, very proud as well. Are you, are you super proud? I am super proud. We all, we're all super proud. Uh, Chrissy, thank you so much for nominating her. Julie King is this month's hidden hero and a very well-deserved one as well. I hope you're going to use that to get something nice for yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I get the impression she's probably going to spend it on the kids, isn't she? Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity as well to say from all of us here at Manx Radio, have a thoroughly lovely Christmas, Thank all you. of you. This has been a, a pleasure to be part of and uh, all the very best. Thank you very much. <laughs> There you go, Howard, our God. final hidden hero for 2020, a very well-deserving Julie King for all of the work she does fostering children here on the Isle of Man. And uh, many thanks to Amanda and all the guys at ShopRite as well for being part of this. Uh, we are going to share uh, little bits of video over on our Facebook page later as well, so you'll be able to see that too. And uh, if you've not yet nominated someone and you know someone who you think is a deserving hidden hero, go to manxradio.com. You'll find the nomination forms on there. Yeah.